Merrymaker, making you the merriest person you can ever be. It's a great name. Also a beer gifted to me by my godbrother Jonathan. So thank you, Jonathan, for the tasty brew. The last one I'm reviewing. I, I, I did drink the Tuesday from Burdock. I just have already shot a review on that. So if you don't see the review in this little series, it's because it was from months ago. But still, Tuesday was great. The, but we're focusing on this beer here. So without further ado, let's do it. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Well, and whoa. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for the Ruski Ruski review. Almost forgot the intro there for a minute. <laughs> but today, the beer that I have for you, the wow. But today, the beer that I have for you guys is by Matron Fine Beer out in Prince Edward County. We have their Merry Maker. Boom. Now, what is Merry Maker, you may ask? Merry Maker is a farm beer with cranberry and spruce tips coming in at 6.9% ABV. Uh, out, uh, not out of. How many IBUs do we have? Can't see the IBUs on the website. No IBUs listed on Untapped either. So we don't know. It's a farm beer, which I'm gonna guess a very similar kind of style to a saison, because usually saisons are also called farmhouse beers, if I'm not mistaken. But we got cranberry and spruce tips. Should be interesting. When is this brewed? December tw uh, the package. December second. Will it explode? We don't know. In a little bit, so we're gonna do a quick, quick pour on this. Some of these beers, I think they may be canned conditions, so it means it's, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it means it's also fermenting a little bit in the can, which could have that happen, which is good, only got a little drop there, nothing really to worry about. But before we take a look at this beer, and I'm already smelling it a little bit, it has a very strong aroma, I really do like that. But before we get into this beer where the aroma is already hitting my nostrils, I'm going to take a second and just give a, give a quick shout out to one of my best friends company, KCL, Kirschen Black Construction Limited uh, Services. They're, they do home improvement services from kitchen renovations, painting, flooring services, bathroom renovations, and also landscape and design. By far, you know what? very trusted individual running one of, of a great up and coming uh, construction company. Go to them to get any of those needs fixed, redone, touched up, beautiful services, and uh, you can't go wrong. So without further ado, once that plug's done, we're gonna jump right into this beer. So let's take a look at this uh, Merry Maker beer. And that is again Kirschen Black Construction Ltd. K C L. Go check the link in link down in the description box below for all of your uh, or yeah for all of your construction and renovation needs. Moving over back to the beer though, Matron Fine Beer, Merry Maker, Farm Beer with cranberries and spruce tips. Let's take a look. Here we go. A little bit of like a reddish. Rose hue with orange in this uh, particular hazy beer with a almost like an orange white and in the light somewhat of like a light rose kind of head looking like a pretty interesting beer. Let's check the nose. On the nose. Definitely a little funky, very similar to a Saison. White grape, barnyardy. Not really getting any spruce, not really getting any cranberries, but it's a little fruity. Def a little touch sour as well on the nose. It definitely smells more just like a regular farmhouse style ale, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Don't mind it. Let's see where the cranberries and spruce tips are. Let's dive in. Okay. Okay. 
Um, where do I start? It's got a little bit of like, yeah, kind of a saison -y sort of vibe to it, but a lot less barnyard, a little less acidity, a lot less white grape, and a bit more sweeter of a, of more of like a red berry note. Not particularly cranberries, because for me, when I think cranberries, I'm thinking like cranberry juice. I've never had a real cranberry on its own. Uh, it's always been mixed in with either a juice or, or, or maybe like, like, a, like a dessert or a muffin or a cake or something like that. And, th and those have really been more tart forward. This is a lot sweeter. I guess, yes, cranberries for sure, but more of like a red fruit uh, medley kind of... Um, Kind of, kind of sweetness to it. Spruce tips didn't get on that initial one, but we always need to drink more. So with that said, guys, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking and cheers to you, Jonathan. Okay, okay. What's, what, what, what's going on after that sort of sweet cranberry note is sort of like almost like, like a very slight little winter greeny um just wisp of flavor i'm guessing that's going to be attributed to the uh spruce tip uh flavors in here again not really sure on the uh, uh like uh science behind adding spruce tips to a beer how much flavor gets you know sets out into the actual final product uh when those are added what what gets the most i guess what, what would they be essential oils per se or just flavors of those tips in there but there is a little bit a little bit of wintergreen going on with this beer mm-hmm yeah starts off a little acidic a little, little barnyardy a little, little white wine a little white grape moving into that sweet cranberry notes and then coming on with a nice little wisp of winter green goodness. I'm guessing that's attributed to the spruce tips because that makes the most sense for me. Velvety smooth, carbonation is on point where it really mixes with the body well and get attributes to that velvety smoothness of a beer. <clears throat> and finishes just with a very light, light, sweet and tart cranberry note with again, a little bit of that winter greeniness. Um, from again probably the spruce tips but a fairly interesting unique and delicious beer to be completely honest this is a i don't know what to expect i really didn't know what to expect with this i'm thinking okay so this was a farm beer we got cranberries we got spruce tips i'm thinking is this going to be like a tree is it going to be very tart like uh like all the other cranberry uh you know instances i've had but a pretty fantastic beer. So let's take a look on the can. Let's see what it has to say for itself. Matron Fine Beer, Merry Maker, Farm Beer with Cranberries and Spruce Tips. 6.9% ABV, no listed IBUs. 80% of the ingredients are from Ontario. That is awesome. Also, uh, uh, Matron Fine Beer is out of 65 Baker's Lane, Bloomfield, Ontario. It's all the information you really get. You got a very uh, orange... <coughs> And green with what looks to be you know spruce trees sort of triangles going on and then you get a clearly labeled canned on date canned on the 2nd of December 2020 a little bit older of a beer but it stood up quite quite nicely again cranberry spruce tips you're thinking winter time you're thinking Christmas time this is probably brewed just in time for the Christmas season moving over to the website matronfinebeer.ca You come over here, you go to the beer section on the uh, shop side of things. And sadly, because I guess this beer, since you know, since this beer was brewed or canned on uh, early December, it is no longer on the very nice looking website. But let's just say, for argument's sake, let's go to uh, Janky. Janky IPA, just because I've had Janky before, let's just see how they set out their website. They have a beautiful, obviously, first off, uh, description. We have a numbers of ABV size and percentage of Ontario ingredients, a food pairing thing, or just a pairing addition, and then notes as well, which seem to be tasting notes and just other notes about the beer. Does that translate over to other ones? Let's do Danky IPA. Danky IPA sounds pretty cool. Again, yeah, 
big long descriptions, uh, ABV numbers, uh, percentage of Ontario ingredients, and pairings. Great stuff indeed. Again, kind of wish that Mary Maker had its own dedicated beer page or stayed on the website. But then again, it's March 6th. This was brewed December 9th or packaged on December 9th, sorry. So with, with a brewery like this, they're going to go quick, they're going to go fast, and it's just going to be a, a, a change or a turnover of beers uh, throughout the year. So no real harm, no foul there. Over on Untapped, Mary Maker Farm Beer has been given a 3.73 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 151 ratings. A 3.73 out of 5. Not bad, but I really like this. I really do like this. Somebody says beautifully fruity and verging on sour. Yeah, it kind of, it, they kind of got that right. It is beautifully fruity. It is verging on sour, but I would say it's nowhere near sour beers at all. Even, even the sour beers that are very just low in sour intensity, nowhere near, but definitely uh, definitely has more of like a tart uh, farmhouse-y note in the beginning until it moves into that sweeter, um, you know, cranberry note and then winter greeniness. Again, not crazy heavy on the winter green either, and the sweetness of the cranberries are not overly sweet by any means, not candy sweet. It's just sweeter than you would think of for, from, from cranberries, because at least in my experiences, cranberries have always been a little bit more tart than sweet. But overall, a fantastic beer, very interesting flavor profile, and I'm just, uh, I'm just pleased with this. This is the solid matron. I see what you're doing. I'm gonna come to you soon. I know. Uh, I, I know. In the future, um, me, 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 and a few friends, we have a, a road trip planned for the uh, maybe late spring, early summer months. Uh, and we're, and we're coming. We're coming for you, Prince Edward County. We're coming to you. We're gonna hit up your breweries. Matron, you're on the list. I know Bird. Uh, not Bird, not because they're in Toronto. I know there are a few others on our list that we're gonna hit up. But Matron, I already told. I already told a couple of them. A couple of couple of guys in the group, we're hitting you up. Watch out, the Ruski's coming to town. And he's not messing around. With that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to trains and wrap this thing up. Overall, a very fantastic, unique beer that I have never seen before in my life. Obviously, not this one, but even even flavor profiles. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. The use of cranberries and spruce tips in here, I think were executed excellently. Again, I have no idea where really to add in cranberries or spruce tips into the process of making a beer, whether it's, you know, sometimes during the boil, just after the boil, going into maybe just adding it straight to the fermenter or secondary. I don't know, but it seems like Matron's kind of found that maybe a little, little, little sweet spot in a sense where you're getting some beautiful sprucey uh, spruce tips, wintergreen sort of uh, sort of uh, flavors, um, without being too heavy-handed with that. And even the cranberries not coming out overly bitter or tart or sour, just coming out with that with that little, little oomph of sweetness to them. Really well, well done, Merry Maker, Matron Fine Beer, gets a solid, gets a solid, uh, gets a solid eight six out of ten for me. As for presentation, again, the can design is very simple, but it's very effective. Brown or brownish orange with some green with triangles to make it look like spruce trees. Really, really cool. Good information. Uh, ABV, no IBUs, list of uh, uh, percentage of Ontario ingredients, which is really cool. No description, no ingredients, no IBUs, but a clearly labeled canned on date on the bottom. As far as website goes, really nice looking website. Kind of bummed that the beer still isn't on there to see, just because they do have a they, they do showcase a ton of information, with descriptions, um, ABVs, pairings, some tasting notes depending on the beer. Really cool stuff. Overall presentation gets all gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video, 
or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski. That'd be greatly appreciated as well. Again, also before I send you off, if you want to get some work done on your house or your landscape, go check out Kirshen Black Construction Limited LTD uh, down in the description box below if you're, I guess, in the GTA uh, Ontario area sort of thing. I'm not too sure how far they branch off to, to actually give, to, to provide their services, but I know probably in the GTA area, you should be good to go. Go check them out if you're needing any work done. Definitely a solid, solid company. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So with all that said, guys, that's gonna do it for me, mate Bruce. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Merry maker, a little late because it's not Christmas, but goddamn this beer holds up well. And damn, the flavors are amazing. Cheers. <laughs>